video um this video wasn't supposed to be a vlog honestly i was scheduling this to be like a try on haul but the the haul didn't work out but i'm glad it didn't because it allowed us to have an actual proper vlog because we haven't had one in very while like over a month it's been i want to say a month yeah it's been a month since i took my nice little break i needed every bit of that y'all every bit of that time off so you know i've been doing two jobs and sometimes it gets tiring but it's always rewarding so i love you guys for sticking with me with this schedule because <laughs> your girl needed a break but yeah i'm so glad to be back and i'm um, so glad to finally be talking to y'all once again so today is my admin day um i've decided to change up how i'm doing things i think i talked to y'all about this before but basically what i'm doing is shooting every other saturday and having admin days every other saturday so that i'm not shooting and getting ready to get out of the house like that as much um and then i also have the same amount of time to kind of work on the back end of my side hustle so because that back end honey is just as important as the photos let's talk about it but um yeah finally getting up and moving around it's 11 i stayed in the bed till 10 um i woke up at like seven something and stayed in the bed all that time and i needed that again um because y'all know year in clothes ain't no joke you hear me none but thankfully we are on the rising end of it <laughs> um so it's not as hard as it was before i actually know it's kind of like very chill right now honestly everybody's probably over it y'all didn't ask but just in case some of y'all were wondering when my curls are this tight um it's because i've like just braided my hair right after wash or shampooing it or co-washing it or whatever and let it dry it that way and then just un undo the braids from there when you see that more blown out look um it's because i you know did the blow dryer you can do it on the cool or the warm setting and blow dried my hair prior to braiding it to get those waves nobody asked that but just in case you're wondering <laughs> so i am about to get ready y'all to like just work and do some admin stuff because i've been needing to do more admin things i've been watching what was that show downton abbey for two weeks and i if y'all have not watched downton abbey it's on amazon prime it is such a good show like i've been talking about it a lot on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram plug um i've been talking about it a lot on instagram and it has been consuming so much of my time like during lunch or after work and honey i've just been engrossed in that show and then last night i found out that there's an actual movie i was like oh y'all got movies too so <laughs> i'm gonna finish the i'm on the season six now which is the final season i'm gonna finish the season today some kind of way because they're like 40 minutes to an hour long <laughs> each episode is between 40 minutes to an hour and it like varies there's no consistency i'm like y'all didn't just come up with it like specific time on when y'all gonna keep this show like you know whatever but i love it i love the length of it you know so 
I'm gonna finish that those last four episodes today sometime today and then tomorrow me and my mama y'all know me and my mama spend time together on Sundays so tomorrow we are going to be watching that movie we're going to find it on HBO I think it's the movie is on HBO Max and I heard it's on Prime too someone showed me like did a screenshot of it on HBO Max so Mama got it for the free free because of her cable company. So we're about to watch that tomorrow while we eat a little food, you know what I'm saying? So let me get to work because I've really been, I was supposed to technically, technically work at 10, but since I'm vlogging I'm and I got out the bed and then, you know, vlogging that, then I still been working, right? You know, but so let me do a little something so I can get the little accounting portion together so I can file my taxes for this like for 2020 if you guys don't follow me on instagram i'm gonna start doing more tax reels on there like not tax but finance tips like like quick little 15 30 second clips of tips that i can give you for financial advice or whatever it's something that i am learning as i go and using on my way so i am not an expert as you guys know just because someone says they're accountant doesn't mean they're proficient in money um i'm still learning and i've been an accountant for eight years god dog has it been that long mm. 12 carrot one yeah it's been girl eight years <laughs> my lanta i've been in accounting for eight years almost nine so yeah eight years um so i'm still learning like i just started learning last year being an accountant doesn't mean you're just bam good in money it's so many accountants in debt and just still trying to figure out how to budget their life so i would definitely love to share with you guys as i roll on and as i learn so yeah if you want to get some more of those tips i did do a budgeting tip that like is my favorite most number one uh tip that i use whenever i am budgeting each month and i put that on instagram already so if you guys want to check that out it's already on instagram you could just head to the little reel section of my profile and you'll be able to see it there i think it's by now by the time you guys see it'll probably be one or two other um tips so just check it out girl oh and february i have a debt free journey update video that i am going to do so y'all be ready for that in february you're going to actually see a sit down video of me chatting about the whole debt free journey how much i paid off to that time of filming and what all have i felt the sacrifices i've had to make all that i like i'll talk about all that um so you'll definitely be able to see that in february i'm excited about it because i've been wanting to have that kind of chat with y'all and i've been having like updates every now and then like hey i paid off this much and it's taking this long and i paid off this much take this long so yeah um i'm excited for that video because i can't wait to see how much god has blessed you be able to pay by the time i sit down and film and i'll be excited to share with y'all as well because we can chat about it in the comments and so let me go get to work <laughs> i think i've talked for y'all for oh almost seven minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and get to work and check up with y'all again later lunchtime i'm about to go maybe to um what is it dairy queen because i love dairy queen tacos and i haven't had it in a long time since doing like the no meat no dairy thing um i haven't had them in a long time but like on the weekends y'all know i partake in a little protein um so i'm about to go to dairy queen for my lunch and get some dairy queen tacos and just enjoy them because i'm so excited about to grab my little purse and my nice little i got this for christmas i didn't show you guys everything i got for christmas maybe i can do that during this vlog but this was one of the gifts i asked for christmas like you know when you're you're getting grown is when you ask for home stuff for christmas <laughs> like entertainment things or dishes you know just like stuff like that you'll ask for christmas but i love tumblers i keep calling them tumblers tumblers Tumb tumblers tumblers i think it's tumblers but i love these cups um it's like a matte finish and they have different color um of this i got it from amazon uh for christmas i think my sister got this for me felicia 
It was like a Felicia or my mama. Um, and I got it in this turquoise. They have like another uh, peachy color, another pink color. I think they have it in black and so many other colors. But if you guys are interested, I'll have it linked below. I think it's cute. I love the matte finish of it and the, the size and just the pop of color. So I'm about to grab that and head out to the car to go to Dairy Queen real quick like to give me some tacos taco saturday and it is looking marvelous have my Dyson over there charging because I just vacuumed <sighs> there's nothing like going to bed with a clean kitchen I haven't eaten yet but I'm not gonna cook tonight because it's the weekend and Shadi is not trying to mess up a dish hello <laughs> um but yeah feels good to have this kitchen clean because it was kind of looking raggedy for the last couple of couple of days so uh, is nice and sparkly it's actually just been um a few hours since i've last chatted with y'all i worked a little bit got a lot done got some receipts in for my taxes i was working on organizing my 2020 tax stuff which <laughs> i will not let that slide through my fingers this year i will actually be that's why i wanted to make sure i have admin days this year so that i can actually take the time to get that stuff together each month or each quarter so by the end of the year like there's nothing much that has to be done at all for the taxes i can just pew, wait you know get it in as soon as i get the 1099s from all of the companies that i've worked with so who jack but it's not done but i've did some good progress to it so we're gonna we're gonna say that um so yeah i just thought about it. cleaning the kitchen just reminded me that i haven't uh showed you guys what i got for christmas we kept it on the low low budget wise this year because i wasn't able to really do a whole heck of a lot for my uh family anyway because you know this whole debt free journey there's that so i want to show you guys the things that i got these are things that i added to an amazon list this is a great idea to do for christmas like in the beginning of the year i would start thinking about what you want to do for christmas anyway so that when christmas comes it's not a surprise to you these sales that are hitting are not um 
something that catches you off guard you already know what you want to do you already know what that holiday looks like for you and your family like are you going to do gifts are you going to travel you know all of that so it's good to plan early on but this is a good option if you do not know what to get someone and they're just really good at like buying on amazon or something like that you can get them to make a list on amazon and share it with you so these are my gift lists so that's exactly what i did with my mom and my sister and a lot of the stuff that i put in there was home items so they can choose from the stuff in the list what to purchase me every single thing was what i wanted that way you don't have you can take the pressure off of and i hope they like their gift by adding them asking them to create like a gift registry or a gift list on amazon and shooting you the link and you can access it anytime so let me show you guys what i got so i showed you guys this earlier this is the tumbler 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 <laughs> i can't get it either way but this is the tumbler tumbler i think whatever this is the cup that i've like i like these on the go cups and i like the matte finish of this it has i want to say about five to seven different colors on amazon of this um cup <laughs> and i like the uniform look like the top the straw and the, the cup itself are all a different color uh, i mean all the same color so i thought that was cute and it just looks girly and like something i'm excited to actually drink in stuff like that really didn't matter until covid <laughs> to me honestly but yeah it's cute i like this and it's very affordable it comes in a pack of four and that is from amazon so the next one is i got this pasta bowl i love seeing people with these bowls um and i've always wanted them so because i like pasta there's just that and then even if it's not pasta i love eating out a bowl that's like this a wide nice clean white heavy duty bowl so this is really really nice i forgot how much it was but everything i put in the red in the list for my family i want to say was like 40 bucks or lower um so this came in a set of four glass very affordable um love a good pasta bowl it's a nice nice size so got that super cute love to keep that out i also received i don't know if you can see this but i'll put it against my black i also received this coffee cup um i think it's really really cute it's nice and lightweight it's i don't can't i can't tell if it's acrylic or glass i don't know i can't tell um but it's it's very fine and lightweight i have another set of this but it looks a slightly different and it's slightly bigger and much heavier i like the lightweightness the light weightness of this especially when you're putting a full you know coffee or something like that and the fact that the actual inside of it is lined it keeps my drink warmer a lot longer because of the lining i can't see if you can tell uh but there is like a lining where you would put your actual um drink and then there's also a line at the edge of the cup so where i have my drink is pretty much lined inside the cup and it stays warmer longer which is perfect for my coffee and my tea so yeah i like this it came in a set of four as well very affordable and i drink from them like like several times a week <laughs> so it's, this was i got good usage out of this i'm trying to think what else did i get i don't remember so y'all i also got this pot now this is still in the wrapper and i have because i haven't used it yet and i haven't used it yet because i completely forgot about it it was at the, at the back of the cabinet where i have all of my pots and pans and y'all have seen me cook y'all have seen me cook in those pots those granite looking gray pots and pans or pans rather so many different times and i've gotten questions on them several times so i decided to get one from amazon to check out the quality take this apart from you now this stuff is this stuff is going to be linked for you below but yeah this is the same quality as the pans that i've received like it's heavy duty it's not real heavy because it's not a like a huge pot but i love the wood the wood accents in the pot and it came with a spatula nice size spatula here and the wood accents on the top so yeah this looks like it should be really good i'll try it out and see how it is with sticking i didn't see any problems um with that in the reviews especially when you're purchasing from amazon you want to check out the reviews um so yeah feels very comfortable to grip it has like i don't know what this is like grippable slid resistant kind of this what whatever this is kind of like insert and then this feels really good too like it has the inserts for your finger but um yeah 
I got this as well. So these are my Christmas gifts, cookware, dishes, and whatnot. Very excited and happy for my Christmas gifts. And I'm probably going to try this out this weekend because I have to cook tomorrow for the week so that I can enjoy my food for the week. So yeah. And actually, I just remembered that over the break when I was gone for about a month from YouTube, I my mom found a vacuum cleaner on Amazon at the time for 25 bucks. It, it is very much comparable to the Dyson. Uh, the convenience of it, the being able to detach it and use it for different um, different vacuuming needs, like your furniture, your car. We found, she found it, and we tried to put it together and tried it out in her house. The suction was very great, and so many people in the comment in the reviews of that vacuum talked about how great the suction was and how they are still using it after so long. And it was just twenty five bucks. I posted it on Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it already. But um, um, I like that it's very comparable to the Dyson because the Dyson is very pricey, as you know. So if you're in a, in a need for another vacuum or something like a vacuum upstairs, downstairs, you don't feel like doing all that carrying back and forth, that's a good option because it has, still has that suction. So I'll be sure to look for that and link it for y'all to know below because I don't think I shared that with y'all. I shared it with the people that are following me on Instagram, but I don't think I shared that with you guys. But my mama loves it. So I will add that down for y'all. So it is now 6.31 and I think I'm gonna call it a night on my productive day. Um, I don't know how long this vlog was. It might have been 12 minutes, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but y'all know this year I said I'm gonna be strictly keeping it 30 minutes below because of my goal <sighs> to be debt free by the end of the year. I have to have specific expenses that do not go over a certain amount and you know i don't edit these videos i have a video editor she's amazing but i gotta pay for that if it's over a certain uh link that i have to pay for uh extra which takes more of her time it takes more of my coin so i definitely understand that um but y'all we're gonna keep it low below 30 minutes but you will see again that i will hopefully be able to um what is it called I'll give you more in the end because of us keeping it under 30 minutes i'm not gonna go more than that because it just depends on how i feel <laughs> just let's just be real depends on how i feel um but yeah i want to eat dinner now so that it's not too late when i'm done eating so i'm actually going to go ahead and close this vlog i got a lot done so proud of myself that i actually got a chance to work on the things that i did and i hope you guys enjoyed this video um be sure to follow me on instagram and <laughs> like this video if you like it giving it a thumbs up really helps me in the whole youtube world it helps other people be able to see me as well after a certain amount of likes i think it suggests it the youtube suggests the video to other people um that are not subscribed which is awesome so if you guys enjoyed it giving it a thumbs up really helps uh spread the word for per se and it's just great support as well as you watching it thank you guys so much for holding down the fort as I was going for a month because I needed every bit of that rest. Um, even though I'm not editing, it's still like a lot of work to do. Um, two jobs, so I'm grateful. I do not complain. I'm so glad to do this with y'all and for y'all. And I just love you guys. So thank you so much. But we are gonna be debt, I say we. But if you wanna be debt free, do this journey with me, y'all. I plan on being debt free if God blesses to say the same by the end of the year. I can't wait to see how we how we celebrate it. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I I, I have a whole year to figure it out. So <laughs> that's really all I have to say today, y'all. I love you guys, and I will talk to you again next Saturday. Bye.